Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Gears here. Okay, so um, in response to Unranked Chevron's video, he had mentioned some things about comic books being overpriced, too expensive, mentioning trades being more expensive than they should be, and to a certain degree, I agree with him. Um, if you look at manga, I mean, the way they're priced, you get a huge volume for the same amount or sometimes even cheaper than an actual trade paperback and then you turn around and look at some of these other trades and they're ridiculously priced so case in point right i decided to pick up a volume of nathan never it was a french comic that came out in the early 90s black and white um it got uh, translated and published here in the states by dark horse comics so i go ahead and order this thing and it's like five bucks right I'm like, okay, cool price. Black and white comic. You get a cool Blade Runner pulp sci-fi adventure comic. And then I was thinking to myself, you know what? I um, read the first issue of Power Girl. I'm thinking of picking up the trade, right? So tell me why I turn around and go into Amazon. And this thing is like 25 bucks. Now, I don't know about you, but it doesn't matter how good Power Girl is, I think 25 bucks is a bit too much for just a volume one trade paperback. It wasn't an extended extra size trade or paperback, you know, volume or anything. It was just volume one, right? I mean, you turn around and you see stuff by like Ethan Van Skyve or Green Lantern and everything, or uh, Tom King's Batman or Red Hood and the Outlaws, you know, that trade. And that's like 15 bucks. Even the pricier ones are like $18. So why in the world would this thing be 26 bucks? I do not get it. Um, I feel like comics are a bit too overpriced as much as I love them. They're a bit too expensive. They really are. I mean, certain books I can understand spending um, four or five bucks for. Um, Batman White Knight. I can, I, I'm willing to spend that money for it, and I have been. I mean, um, I got the Batgirl trade, uh, variant cover, not trade, but the variant cover. Uh, all his covers are amazing. Um, Doomsday Clock, I'm willing to shell out the extra cash for that. Um, but when you have stuff like uh, Chip Zdarsky's 300th issue of Spider-Man, that's $6, I'm like... Really, six dollars, even five bucks. I feel like that's a bit much, and I know it's the 300th issue or whatever, and that's supposed to be a big thing. But when you look at a cover that's pretty bland, I don't understand why you would charge that amount of money. I mean, think about it Andy Kubert is doing the interiors, he's been doing it, I think, for the last couple issues. Now, keep in mind, I have not read issue 300 yet, I was going to get it, and I saw that price, and I was like, I could get that, or I could get two good DC books. Or I could go and turn around and get Sensational She-Hulk by uh, John Byrne for that same price or cheaper, you know? Um, why not have Andy Kubert do the cover? I don't understand because the cover's not that great anyway to begin with. But I feel like even though I'm hearing that, and I don't know everything about comics and the whole thing with shipping and pricing and all the things that comic book companies go through, so I can't speak as an expert. I'm just talking about a casual a newbie into the hobby that goes to the comic book shop every couple weeks or so, right? Why would you make something so expensive when it has ads and everything to be that price? How does that work? I mean, because be honest, there's a lot of people out there that only really pick up trades. Um, every now and then there will be certain books or maxi or mini series that they'll pick up or it'll be like one or two comics that they will get monthly on a consistent basis get their Batman or their Flash or whatever, right? Or their, uh, well, X-Men's been pretty trash, all of them. But um, whatever Marvel book or whatever indie book, even indies are overpriced because you look at them and there's so many things in there that are just like ads and then four or five pages of a preview of another book. So you're not even getting a full 20-something page comic. You're getting like technically like 16, to like 18 pages of a comic. Um, that's why I just stopped getting floppies for Descender. Uh, Image Comics really is something that you probably want to get the trade for. Unless you really love the covers and you really love the artwork that much that you can't wait. Um, I gotta be honest, being a person that waits for the trade 
I, I, I see the logic in that because sometimes some of the stuff it just isn't worth that pricing, especially when it's something you're jumping into. Um, the price tag can scare you off. It's like, well, what if I spend five bucks on this Marvel comic and the first two issues are good and the rest of it just goes on a decline and just falls apart? Then you've wasted 10 bucks on a comic that you could have spent that 10 bucks on a trade or something else. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I'm, you know, my mind is, my thinking is completely far left and maybe not far left, but, you know, completely off the beaten path. And maybe I'm, I'm in the wrong here, but that, that's, that's some, some of the things I've been thinking about when I go to the comic book shop. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next.